Here you go, Dolly. Which way are yours? <laughs> the magic of Christmas is a child making a wish and it coming true. Go ahead, Edith. We'll share whatever it is, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, don't think us. Think Mom and Christmas. I seem to recall after giving you last year's payment, not all of it reached Lord Rockford. And I had men even more foul than you show at my door. Not to blame. You can't add your coin properly. Do you steal from every person you collect or just us? You're going to give me the payment or do you need persuading? I'm not giving you anything. I shall deliver my payment to Lord Rockford himself. I don't think our lord visits many men in the dungeon. Arrest him! Get the money. Just don't hurt her. I wouldn't dream of hurting her. Not when I can get such a fair price for another child in the mines. Get them in the wagon. No! No! Forget the girl. We'll make ten times as much from just one of these dragon eggs. You, girl, give us the eggs. No, I won't! Move, girl.
Be safe here. I brought you some worms to eat while you rest. Stay off of that wing until you feel better. Where did you learn to do that? My mother taught me when I was about your age. What is it? Dragons. you to take the warning bells a little more seriously, Aiden, especially with what happened to your parents. I'm sorry, Sister Lenora. Now go find the twins and make sure they are shuttering the windows properly instead of hanging out of them. And bring them down for supper. Excuse me. Yeah. Where is it? You tell us. No, please. I can't see. Will you two knock it off and close that thing before you get us all cooked? You're not the boss of us. Yeah. Hey! You could have killed us! Bring that to God! Ah! Don't be silly, Aiden. You're safe here. Talking yourself again? No. I was. Shouldn't be so jumpy. Very under. Roslyn! <laughs> you were saying? Aiden. Don't pick on Aiden. Sister Lenore says supper's ready. your stocking hanging on the fireplace. It reminded me of Father Christmas. Who? Who's Father Christmas? No one but a fairy tale. That's not true. He's real. And he's wonderful. Aiden's right. Well, at least partially. Many years ago, 
even before Sister Lenora was born. There was a man named Nicholas who lived in a village not far from here. When his neighbors needed money for their daughter's wedding, he gifted it to them by dropping it down their chimney so no one would know it was him. I remember this story. After seeing how happy his neighbors were, he decided that was the way he wanted to live his life, bringing joy to the lives of other people. He spent his nights making secret deliveries to those in need. And even though helping grown-ups was good, what made Nicholas happiest was seeing the smiles on the children's faces when their wishes came true. But how did he become Father Christmas? Well, he started making a list of all the children that were good and deserved a present, not just in his town, but in every town he visited. And soon, the list got so long that it took a whole year to make all the gifts. And then he chose a special night to deliver them all. Christmas. That sounds familiar. Is Christmas real? When is it? It's real. It's less than a week away. And now his list includes every child in the whole world. So you better be good. And just how does he travel around the whole entire world and visit every child in one night? He uses magic. Really? We well, must have lost it then. There haven't been presents in any stockings for years now. Isn't that right, Finn? Why hasn't Father Christmas been seen in years? Why haven't we ever had a Christmas here? Well, maybe it's because we don't believe. We need to believe that he'll come. Make a wish in your heart for him to answer. I think it's cruel that you're getting your hopes up. I don't want any part of it. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. We wish for a... Uh, uh, uh. Make it silent. So only he can hear. We need to show Father Christmas that we believe. You don't have to. He can see it in your heart. What if we made him something? We should make him a wreath. We can hang it on the door, and that way he'll know that he's welcome. Here, uh, you keep gathering firewood, and I'm gonna look for some leaves and holy berries. Hello? 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 What are you looking for? Uh, holy, holy berries and leaves. Holy berries are poisonous. They're not for eating. Uh, uh, we're making a wreath for Father Christmas. There is not going to be a Christmas child. Not this year. Perhaps never again. How would you know? Can't you feel it? It's gone. What's it called? The magic. It's gone out of us. And all good things are turning bad. <gasps> yes. I know. I'm not pretty. I was once. You're, you're an elf? What happened to you? There's a darkness in the north. Father Christmas is dying. He sent us to find the magic. But he didn't realize how quickly the elves were turning. I only made it this far because of this. What is that? It's a waystone. A compass. It was meant to guide me to the magic, but instead it led me to you. Why me? I don't know, I could... but I believe you are meant to have it. Once you take it, there will be nothing left to keep the snarl from taking me. I don't understand, but... Follow the compass. Find the magic. Save Christmas.
I can't do that. I can't do it by myself. before we don't bid them out until they become of age. Even orphans deserve to be children. All right. We'll take one before we leave town tomorrow and we'll be back for the other. I have something to show you. It's important. So you met a real live elf? Yes. And he told you Christmas wasn't coming back this year. Well, not just this year, maybe never. Unless you use this crystal to find the missing magic? Well, he called it a compass, but yes. All right, I'm in. You really believe me, just like that? I can't think of any better reason why you got the magic glowing rock. So when do we leave? You're all crazy. You really want to get yourself lost and probably killed over a silly rock? You know what? You're more than welcome to do it. Alone. No one invited you anyways. We'll leave first thing in the morning. But before you make your decisions, I want you to know that this is not going to be easy. We're going to be runaways. We're going to have no money, no food, no shelter. All we have is this. And we don't even know where it's taking us. But we're going to find the lost magic. We're going to save Christmas. <laughs> Rosalind's right. You are all crazy. But of course I'll go. <laughs> what are you all up to? It's almost supper. Go wash up. face to face with her this early, especially with that dragon breath. Let's carry it. Come on, let's do this.
car. Fetch the boy. Let me get you something to drink first. What are we going to do now? I know another way. Follow me. Don't wake the other children. Come on. I can't leave without Rosalind. I'll buy you time by pulling up the blankets so they won't know and catch you. If I don't meet you by the edge of the woods, then go on without me. Gary, no, we can't go without you. Yes, you can, Aiden. You must. Promise me you will. I promise. Gary? Now go. Hurry! Where's Gary? Oh. He didn't make it out. He told me we had to go on without him. He made me promise. I understand if you want to if go back. If it's a choice between following your magic rock or facing the wrath of Sister Lenora and Father Mendo, I'll take my chances with the rock. Which way did we go? I knew where this thing was taking us. That's easy. North. Well, how do you know that? You can tell by the moss. It grows on the north side of the trees. Oh, that's pretty handy. Yeah, hand at night. It's probably just a squirrel or something. <laughs> yeah, a squirrel. But we should stay together, just in case. I think we're alone in these woods. I have an idea. Any time now, Fee? Nothing's wrong with me. You're the one who's stalking us through the woods. Now, where's Garrett? 
He's not coming. What do you mean? Is he all right? No. He's not all right. Nothing is all right right now, Aiden. We have to get moving. They're after us. Not that way. We're heading north. Well, if you want to go north, I know a faster way. The river. I assume you don't want anyone following you? I couldn't imagine running into anyone worse. Christmas is only four days away, so the faster the better. See? What would you do without me? Uh, Rosalind? Stop it. Oh! I can imagine Sister Lenore and Father Mendel ever catching up with us. This is going to be much faster than walking. How did he know this was here? Garrett used to help old man Husker haul his catch from here to the market. Isn't he going to miss his boat? Look at this thing. Hasn't been used in months, maybe even years. No one is going to miss it. Is it lunchtime yet? Looks like about midday. What do we have to eat? Sorry. I got hungry. Seriously? How long did you think we were gonna be out here? Hey! What do you bring? I was in a hurry, okay? I thought you guys would be smart enough to bring more than just stinky cheese. You could do a lot with stinky cheese. Why didn't we catch our own lunch? Good idea, Rad. You see? If we all work together, we can make it. What do you think you're going to catch? This way won't get away. There's something in the water. Oh. It traveled much faster than we would have through your mossy tree. We should make a fire when we set up camp. It's gonna be dark soon. What if a dragon smells of smoke and comes for us? I'd welcome some dragon fire. Dragons always smell smoke. It's in their noses all the time. They won't be able to tell our fire from their own. Trust me. We still shouldn't build a fire. Why are you so scared, Rosalind? It's not like we've never been caught and punished before.
How does that thing work anyway? It has to be some kind of magic, right? My mother said the magic of Christmas is a child making a wish and it coming true. Mind if I see that? How did you do that? I just did what you said. I have the same Christmas wish every year to go on an adventure. I just talk about how I feel now that it's finally coming true. Can we have it now? I'd rather not see what happens after you two make a wish. Why not? Actually, you better hold on to that. Rosalind, what was your wish? Nothing special. What about you? Well, mine's not very original. An orphan wishing for a family. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Rosalie? What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same question. I just wanted to see how lost we really were. There's something you're not telling us. You've been acting really strange. Why did you come after us? Did something happen to Garrett? I know he means a lot to you. You have no idea what you're talking about. He would be here if he could. What does that mean? It means... It means the sun's up. We need to get moving again. Rosalind! to death before we even get there. Yeah, I think I found something up here. I thought you didn't believe in Christmas. At this point, I don't know what to believe. <sighs> Can you smell that? Mm. Fresh baked <sighs> bread. And bacon. I'm not going in there. Crystal says we go to the tavern. I agree with Finn. The compass hasn't steered us wrong yet. And I have. <coughs> the river. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nice to go somewhere that wasn't crawling with bugs? I doubt there are any less bugs in there than there are out here. But food. Doesn't look like a very charitable place, Finn. How do you imagine paying for that food? My good looks.
What? We'll have a loaf of your finest bread and a flagon of water, kind sir. And how do you plan to pay for this? About a train. Come on, where's your Christmas spirit? Well, you haven't noticed my decorations. That was the last man they couldn't pay for his meal. Now scram! It's all right. It was a good idea. Excuse me, sir. Would you be so kind as to... I am so sorry. I thought you looked just like our uncle. Our mistake. Thanks. That was about to get ugly. You mean ugly er? That guy was already pretty ugly. Get down! What are you doing? I know you. <laughs> Yeah! 
faster! Help me with this! Is this an idea? We need to keep moving. No, I want answers. All in good time. From you. Those two are partly responsible for my parents' deaths. Do you know them? No. Well, I mean, not really. Do you think Sister Lenora sent them after us? What do they want with us? The bounty hunters. Oh. So which one of you got better than? It was me. What's bit it out? When you become of age, you're old enough to become an apprentice. Kids with parents usually pick their family trade, but kids like us get sold to the highest bidder. Garrett. They must have took him the morning we left. That's who was there. And you must have been the other one on the list. I heard them talking about it. They were gonna send me to the mines. I... I couldn't stand going. I had to run away. Uh, well... It won't matter now who's of age and who's not. Why not? Well, let's put it this way. If those guys catch up to us, they're not taking you back to the orphanage. Rosalind... They've been after you this whole time. Not us. I put you all in danger. I was afraid. You should have told us. We never would have left you. I'm so sorry. This is all very sweet. But there is a pack of ruthless bounty hunters who would have caught up to the wagon by now and noticed that we are not in it. So, unless you want to be really, really sorry, we need to go. Now. Who are you, anyway? I'm Eric. Let's go. Point. Finn. Man. Rosalind. You. So an elf gave you his waystone, just like that. Not exactly. When, when he gave it to me, he changed. Changed? Changed how? I don't know. It was, it was like he went dark all of a sudden. Like... Like all of the magic was being drained out of him. It turned into a goblin. He told me to follow the Waystone, and I did. And it led me to you. Do you know where the magic is? I do. But it's not that simple. What do you mean? Fuck. 
Father Christmas's magic comes from an orb. It's cut from the same crystal as your waystone. I used to have it, but I lost it years ago. Lost it? But you just said you knew where it was. When I say I lost it, I, I meant to someone. Or, in this case, an ogre. So without this orb thing, there's no chance of saving Christmas? Well, I know we should be rationing this, but if we're going after an ogre, I'm gonna need my strength. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rock in my shoe. We have bigger things to worry about. Much bigger. I can't believe you survived to fight with an ogre. Well, uh, it wasn't really a fight. What was it then? A battle of wits? Please. Tell me you didn't lose to an ogre in a battle of wits. Actually, it was a bet. Why in the world would you make a bet with an ogre? <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> said before losing your bet to me. So what does your stone do? How's it going to help bring the magic back? Well, Father Christmas uses it to slow down time so that he can deliver presents. I mean, how do you think he did it all in one night? Will you be able to show us? This way. Yes. 
Can we see if they need any help? We made it. So is that the rock? Father Christmas uses it to slow down time. That's how he delivers all the presents in one night. Show us how it works. Yeah, show us. <laughs> well, I, I don't actually know that I can make it work. Why? It's missing. Well, I, I don't actually know that it works at all anymore. Um, Ever since I laid hands on it, it's, it's been dark. How did you end up with this thing? That's a long story. Look, if it's like Aiden says, and the elves are turning, then we don't have much time. Okay, we've got two days to get this to Father Christmas, and that's our only chance of making it work again. All right. How do we find Father Christmas? I was afraid you'd ask that. I can take you to the border of the north, but that's as far as I'm going. Come on, then. Is that a field over there? Wouldn't that be easier to travel on? It's a bit quicker, yes. Being out in the open like that makes this easy lunch for a dragon. Besides, those woods are home to bandits. They think that these woods are infested with goblins. Are there goblins in these woods? In these woods? No. no the scariest things in these woods is us. He doesn't seem very sure of himself. Using rivers to travel. It's a good way to hide your tracks, right? Well, it seems like it could work. There's a lot of foul beasts lurking in that water who wouldn't think twice about turning you into chum. Ow. Ouch. What is it? Where are you going? Are you 
shot this little one down too. No, don't! Aiden, it's hurt. She's an orphan, like us now. If we don't help her, no one will. Those bandits will be here any minute to make sure that that dragon is dead. But aren't the bandits too scared to come into the woods? What about the goblins? The only problem is there are no goblins. Yes, there are. down by the river. No goblin. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? A girl and a dragon. Step aside. This one's mine. I shot it down. It's mine to kill. Then you'll have to get through me first.
Shadow Dragon. Are you a goblin? Who are you? I was going to ask you the same thing. What are you waiting for? Get out of here! <laughs> well, it looks like you didn't have any problems here. Well, I did run into a little trouble, but I was able to take care of it. With help. Found you the herbs you needed. Seroin? Oh. <clears throat> oh! That's for leaving. Oh. And that is for not saying goodbye. Okay. And that oh. is for stealing the orb of Borealis. Are you gonna beat the rest of us up too? No. I only do that to thieves. Aiden, do you care to explain what's going on? Who's your new friend? This is Sarwin. She's one of the elves from the north trying to find the orb of Borealis, which apparently was stolen from Father Christmas by his son. Isn't that right, Eric? You can do it for me. It was still pretty selfish. You have no idea what's happening in the north, do you? Well, I can see that it's not good. Well, this is the least of it. The north is dying. The snarl is back, and it is huge and dark and dangerous and growing and Father Christmas. Your father is not doing good. Hold on. I thought this orb thing was for delivering presents. And all of a sudden it's destroying the north. Yeah, I, I may not have been completely honest about its powers. <laughs> that is the understatement of the century. When connected to Father Christmas's staff, the orb makes time in the north run constantly slower. Well, it has to, for the north to function. Is that why Father Christmas has lived for so long? Yes. And it also helps us keep the snarl at bay. With the power to control time, we can pretty much do anything. No, it can't. You know that the orb can slow down time, sometimes even stop it, but nothing. Not even the orb can reverse it. Yeah, but he didn't even try. Someone had to try. Who? Eric's mother died. Five years ago. He stole the orb to turn back time and save her. Still a chance, Aiden. But we must return the orb back to Father Christmas. I was afraid you'd say that. This will help your wing heal faster. What are we gonna do with her? We're keeping her. She's not gonna be able to travel very far until our wings heal. We can't wait. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We can take her with us. Dragons are meant to fly, not walk. She would never make it in the snow. What is so bad about this snow thing? You'll find out soon enough. I don't like the sound of that at all. We should get some sleep. We're going to need our rest. The 
will be safe here. You've plenty of food and water. Stay off that wing. Even though it's healing fast, no flying. You need your rest. Don't worry. You've created a sacred bond with her. You two will always be able to find one another. You ready to go? We're going north. Catch up with us when you can. I told you it was bad. All this in a few years. It's gotten worse as time goes on. No elves left to cut it back. It's gone dark and wild. Are you sure it's a good idea for you to go in there? Going through is the only way to the north now. We have no other choice. We need to stay together. Thank you. 
Chapter One. It's the snake. Eric, get me out of here. Back to Father Christmas in time. The sun is already setting. It's Christmas Eve. Is this where Father Christmas lives? Didn't always look like this. Are you ready? I just want to warn you. You're not going to like what you see.
Father. If he's just old. It was only the magic of the orb that kept his body young. Without it, he's just a thousand year old man. <sighs> Father, I've brought back the orb. Come on, children. Let's give them some time alone. Father, I know how angry you must be. Did I know that there is nothing I can say to fix the damage I've done? Here's our last hope. At least I get to spend my last Christmas with you. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. We can't just give up. There's nothing else to do. And it's all my fault. Christmas is lost forever. No, it can't be lost. If we give up, then it really is lost. But we already know that the magic, it's not completely gone. Maybe not yet. But without a whole lot of magic, Father Christmas won't ever wake up. Our, our Christmas wishes. Rand Hoyt. We got, we got our, our dragon. dragon. I never told you. But my wish was to be free from the life I would have been forced into. And I guess that came true, too. I can't imagine those goons finding me all the way up here. <laughs> and I guess my wish came true a long time ago. And what was that? A family. I don't know. I mean, even with all those wishes, look. My father hasn't stopped. Not yet. But they're right about the wishes. Who knows how many it will take. But look how powerful mine was in the snow. When did your wish come true in the snow? When you said you needed me. All right, you do. I believe. What's the plan? <laughs> Father. Rand, Hoy, Finn, go help Saren prepare the presents. Rosalyn, you're with me.
we gonna pull the sleigh without magic? <laughs> you sure this thing's gonna work? No, but it's not impossible to imagine that it might. That's everything. It's now or never. All right, dragon. On the count of three. One. Two. Three! wake up to their gifts. With that many Christmas wishes coming true, there'll be enough magic to save Christmas for good. Emmeline, Violet Ashwell. Lawson Pike. Pansy and Penny Brooks. Out of bed? Hoyt? Ran? Oh, where have you been? I have been worried sick. You went to the north to find Father Christmas. There is no Father Christmas. This is yours. This one's for you. I've, I've always wanted one. How did you know? It's not from us. It's from him. This is just like the one my mother had.
gifts have been delivered. It's up to Aiden and the twins now. Let's ring the bell. I'll go see if Kitty. Where's their Christmas spirit? Well, angry mobs aren't exactly known for their good will. Bring the beast! Step aside. You're gonna have to kill us first. Yeah, what he said. So be it. No! Stop! Out of the way, girl. This dragon is made for us to kill. There's no need for violence. It's Christmas. Christmas or not, that's a dragon. Yeah. yeah. I know all too well about the danger of dragons. It was a dragon that took my parents from me. But I was able to look past my fear. If we don't hurt them, they won't hurt us. It's just a young dragon. It's an orphan, like me. Rand, Hoyt? Looks like our Christmas wish came true. Are you going to come along quietly or do you need persuading? It's a young dragon now. If dragons go up, yeah! then what? Then what? Christmas is about forgiving and understanding. It reminds us to think of others instead of ourselves. This dragon saved our lives. And it helped us to live a Christmas. What Christmas? There is no Christmas anymore. Yeah! You have to let her go. If someone doesn't ring that bell, there will never be another Christmas ever again. Christmas. That's just a story for kids. Rosalind's too old to believe in that nonsense. Isn't that right? If I let her go, she'd just run away to save herself. Let us go and you'll find her. <laughs> You're going to need two hands to ring that bell. So what will it be? Save yourself? Or save Christmas. Rosalind, you have to believe. Yes, ring the bell and you're mine.
with them. Let go of them now. My, oh my, this little one has spirit. You. You're the reason my mother and father are dead. It's because of you that I'm an orphan. Yes, I remember. You cost me a lot that day. I lost some good men and a good wagon. Time to repay me for the truck. She is not going anywhere with you. If you try to take her, that dragon will burn you to the ground. Well, that can't happen, can it? A good dragon is a dead dragon. Gazareth, born tall. Untie those children and release them to me. Listen, old man, we've paid for the girl and we're already several days past her delivery. The rest we're taking for our trouble. The only thing you'll be getting, Gazareth, grim grace, is justice. And you barely deserve that much. For your treachery, your thievery, your dishonesty, and most despicably, your attack on these children. I find you guilty and sentence you. To what? What are you gonna do? You are both banished. Leave this land and never, ever, ever return. And if we do, you'll have to deal with us. All of us. Yeah! yeah! Thank you for finding my son and bringing him home. It wasn't me who found him. It was these children. Ah. Rand, Hoyt, Roslyn, Finn, Aiden. My sincerest thanks. I'll not forget what you've done for me. Serwan, Herc, make sure Gazaret and Borntal have left for good. I'll see to it that these children get back home. wrong child don't you want to go i just thought after all this we wouldn't have to go back to the orphanage that's not your home anymore your home is with me now for as long as you want and that goes for the rest of you too i'm sure we can find five beds for thirsty to sleep in <laughs> <laughs> Christmas? Can I have one more Christmas wish? Yes. We can pick up Garrett along the way. <laughs> <laughs>
family is what is most important in life. Be it formed of blood or of bond, when someone joins a family, they're bound together forever. They come to our rescue when we need it the most. With family, we have our saddest moments, but also our happiest. Family is one of God's greatest gifts to us. And we must honor it with all our heart throughout our lives. And so, say everyone, with great joy, you are hereby joined with our family. Don't just stand there, boy. Kiss the girl.